Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Stellaris. In the last episode, we begun focusing on building up our existing territory, namely uh, the stations and surface constructions, as well as building up our fleet. Uh, we've been working on that over time, but we want to kind of make it a special focus now. We're not going to be worrying about expanding the Empire too much at this point, though we did establish a new colony in our home system. And actually... We do have a couple of planets in these systems that we could actually can colonize, but the habitability is not great. But again, we're working on building up what we currently have. Um, we got the fleet built up, we sent them out to kill some space amoebas. We successfully killed them. We now have a science vessel coming over to examine the carcass. And uh, we'll see what else we're going to do. Because we have some more stuff that needs to get blown up. So we're going to work on that. But the fleet needs to head back for repairs. So we'll send them back for repairs. And we have a bit of an energy issue. Probably, probably because the fleet's out and the fleet is costing maintenance. But let's upgrade that while we're at it. Upgrade that. Physics lab. Uh, might as well upgrade those power plants. We have this building. We have these tire blockers being cleared. These people are food, though I could clear the tile blockers to allow their population to grow up a little bit more so they can provide some more food for us. And we have a new planet here. It's already filled in. Well, we are fast breeders, so... this new planet. But there isn't a lot of power here. Well, there's some here and some here. We'll have to clear the blockers. Don't have a lot of minerals at the moment. Actually, let me just unpause it. Let's get it moving so that we can get some stuff done. Um, are there any like space stations that I can build that'll give me more power? Not really. You're doing coming over to do there. Go ahead and survey the system. I mean, we have lots of power in reserve. Oh, no, that one. Now we're not having an issue. Okay. Something must have just been. Oh right, we built this. Ah, uh... oh, that's what happened. We built the frontier outpost over the star that had power. Perfect. So, construction ship. Might as well get the mining station in that system while we're at it. Tile blocker cleared. Let's see, let's clear these, clear those tile blockers for here. Yildar Prime is guaranteeing the independence of the United Nations tile Space blocker. Command. Okay. Let's go with power plant. Special project complete. Ah. After continued studies of the massive skeletal remains found on Menchib 4, Science Officer Zarax has concluded that the creatures served as some kind of organic starship. Much smaller bones from at least three separate species were found within the larger skeleton, and we assume these came from members of the crew. For known reasons, this organic starship suffered catastrophic damage and crash landed on, on Menchib 4. While we cannot begin to understand the biological engineering necessary to grow a starship like this, the study of these bones alone have substantially advanced our knowledge. 
Very good. And our guy leveled up to level five. Let's see, he might actually be better off. Swapping in there as a five star scientist who is a Voidcraft expertise. And we'll put you here. And then have you go work on system surveys. Construction complete. Alright, fleet repairs are done. Spaceport should build. How many. You have two Raider class. Let's build another one. So I think I'm going to take the fleet and head here to take care of this special project. Oh, tile blocker's getting cleared. Actually, uh, build solar panel network. And you build solar panel network. That'll help with the power. Oh, they stopped guaranteeing the independence of the United Nations Space Command. That's stuff happening way over on the other side of the galaxy, so... These guys are expanding pretty fast. I think initially we're going to be building a pretty tightly concentrated... Empire. Tile blocker cleared. Construction. Especially since complete. we haven't really run into any really nice. Ooh, that's seven engineering research. Build those research stations. Is that my raider class? Yeah, Tile those are. Cleared. Uh, point defense ships, so... System survey complete. Alright, science ship. Continue with the system surveys. We need to find more habitable planets. What were we working on? Oh yeah, Warp Drive 2, Psy Warriors, complete. and Cruisers. Cruisers would be very good. Complete. Very good. Uh, let's build some mining stations over there. Let's see, there's about 800 combat power there. Alright, let's send the fleet in. Well, that's a bit of a circuitous route, isn't it? Tile blocker cleared. Anomaly found. Oh, what's this? Shipyard destroyed. The alien shipyard that was called used by the penitent ones in their crusade against us has been destroyed. Some of the cultists were captured when their escape pods were picked up by a fort. We didn't do anything. Um his knowledge of the shipyards of advanced technology has proved quite valuable. Their chief engineer we captured. Fortunately, we have also learned the cult's charismatic leader departed the shipyard several weeks ago on her new flagship, a more powerful variant of the alien ships they produced. Military intelligence are working on pinpointing location of this vessel. Weird. The atmospheric patterns on Monakitter two are highly uh, atypical for a gas giant of modest size. Research it. Did it did it actually blow up? I don't know. Construction complete. How many leaders can we have? Just two more. What I think I want to do is start getting some governors on these planets. Spend my influence a little bit. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Building cost. Slave mineral output. Deceptive giant. What we had assumed was an abnormally small gas giant is in fact not. 
Beneath a deceptive cover of thick dust swirling in the upper atmosphere lies a regular planet. A barren planet, but a planet nonetheless. This has proved quite embarrassing to the astronomical community on Crake. Uh, recruit that one and put him in charge. And over here, tile blocker cleared. I guess recruit you. Put you in charge. I mean, I could put someone in charge of this planet, but we don't have enough leaders. Alright, let's see. Surface, we're good there. Here, build a power plant. I'm gonna pause it for a second while I queue up some construction. There we go. So I want to see what's going on in here. Fourteen months, thirteen months left on the... Oh, somebody blew up that station. Situation log updated. Probable cultist flagship locations. Deep space reconnaissance pros have picked up faint subspace emissions in a star system consistent with the drive signatures of the alien ships used by the Penitent Ones. The cult's missing flagship is the most probable source. We should send forces to search this system as soon as possible. That ship and its charismatic master are too dangerous to leave at large. Ready the fleet. Uh, the Penitent Ones. Track on map. Where is it? There it is. Send the fleet. Ah, <sighs> so you so you have found us at last, no matter. My disciples are more than willing to give their lives to the future of the Kark species. I am not that future, in case you didn't realize. When we have dealt with your pitiful forces, my holy flagship shall carry me to Crake, where we will at last cleanse our homeworld of unbelievers. This ends here. What are we looking at? 604. Oh yeah, we should definitely have to deal with that. Situation log updated. Uh, we've already found their flagship. Tile blocker cleared. In the meantime. Hostile fleet engaged. They firing missiles. Well, we should have point defense. System survey complete. Some of the missiles are making it through. I think we lost one of our destroyers. We've wrecked all of their corvettes. Flagship disabled. Our forces have managed to disable the flagship of the Penitent Ones. Its weapons and engines are no longer functional, but the life support systems remain stable. We should repair a boarding part action. Due to the large number of armed cultists within the ship, a significant number of troops will be necessary to secure it. One transport ship in orbit. You know what? I think I forgot to add some attachments to a couple of these armies. Hold on just a moment. I don't, we don't need all of them. 
Unhappy slaves. Effects. Minerals, energy output, physics output, engineering, unity output. Spiritualist minus 10. You know what? I don't really care. We're not using them for any of that. So, you guys. Incoming transmission. Communication from the Boss Pachuk's progenitors. Greetings, Kark. As you no doubt, we Boss Pachuk's are dedicated to the study and con conservation of all forms of life in the galaxy. We have studied your species and determined that the Kark hunting grounds is unlikely to last for more than a few centuries at best. To ensure the continuation of the Kark species, should the worst befall your empire, we would like to acquire a part of your population for our endangered species preserve. We will conduct, construct a special reservation that perfectly mirrors the natural habitat of your species, and this population will be taken care of and protected from all harm, so you need not worry on their behalf. So what do you say? Will you contribute to, your, to our preserve and safeguard the future of your species? We will never surrender our population to alien hands. That is exactly what I would say to that, or we would say to that. All right, let's get my guys over here. All right, science ships. Uh, you guys need to survey things. Survey system. And actually, I only we actually can't get out there. Space amoebas. All right, you guys head back for repairs. What did we lose? We lost one destroyer. Okay, we should be able to replace that. For this, we're actually going to go with minerals. Um, no, I don't want to go with the silo. As you know, we, let's, let's build the mine here. Build the mine here. Actually, I'm going to want to build a temple there. And we're going to want to clear... The tile blockers. Construction complete. Okay, construction ship is done. Construction complete. Construction complete. And that construction is done, so that gives me some additional engineering research. Which so means this will get done a little bit faster. Nine months, 23 months, 20 months. Yeah, we got a ways to go yet. Anomaly found. Ah, anomaly found. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Go ahead and research it. Just to kick the speed up a little bit. Uh, mining stations? Build the mining stations. Disease control. Debris from what must have been a massive orbital installation has been discovered on uh, above Ijagin 1. Artifacts recovered amongst the debris have confirmed that this space station served as the headquarters of the Erasian Concordance Authority of Disease Control some 1.2 million years ago. The Erasians were far more susceptible to alien diseases than most known species, and the budget of their public health institute nearly rivaled that of their military. Despite this, 
Surviving records show that their entire species peri perished from the Javorian pox. Issue Special Project Orbital Station. Situation log updated. Um, a skill five scientist. You're three. You're two. You're five. All right, get over here and do the research project. Build that orbital station. Uh, and my transports are arriving to board System survey the cultist flagship. Ooh. And we need to research some debris. Construction complete. Special project complete. Cultist flagship secured. After slowly fighting their way deck by deck, our main our marines have finally eradicated the last pockets of resistance on the former flagship of the penitent ones. Few prisoners were taken, as most of the zealous cultists preferred to throw their lives away in futile suicide attacks. The cult leader was found on the vessel's bridge, killed by her own hand. At long last, it looks like the penitent ones have met their end. Our engineers have restored power to the ship's engines, and it has been pressed into service with our fleet as the dawn of creation. The vessel should be brought to a spaceport as soon as possible for more permanent repairs. Excellent. Return for repairs. Wow, that's a 300 strength ship. Chertan uh, 2's toxic biosphere gives the planet a very unique color scheme. 60%, we'll leave that be for now. Ah, and we finally got access to cruisers. New research. Mineral processing. Projectile defense modules, unlocks component mass drivers, armored torpedoes, nuclear missiles, afterburners. Let's grab the nuclear missiles. Can't hurt. All right. Transport ships. Let's see, send them back to the home system. Oop, and we have a new tradition, which we're going to take the great game. As we continue to expand, other empires will inevitably challenge our claims as we would theirs. We are locked in a great game of resources and territory. It is nothing less than our duty to come out on top. You need output increased by 10% per neighboring rival. Yes, and that unlocks an ascension perk. Uh, requires one other. Oh, I need to look at these. Let's see. Interstellar Dominion. Our place amongst the stars is assured and irrefutable, and the borders of our nation equally so. We get an additional 25% border range. That's nice. Technological Ascendancy. Technologies that would have been indistinguishable from magic mere generations ago are now within our reach. A new age of technology begun. Research speed plus 10%. That's also very nice. One vision. True unity is achieved when the ultimate goals of a nation and its people are one and the same. After all, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Governing ethics attraction plus 30%. Unity output plus 10%. Consecrated worlds. Galaxy is home to many holy places, some more obvious than others. As mortals... We will still struggle to divine the true nature of the universe. The planetary edict that lasts for a hundred years increases pop happiness and reduces growth time. Now, mastery of nature. Although we mastered the nature of our homeworld long ago, the alien biomes we have since encountered present new challenges, and they too shall be overcome. Clear blocker cost minus a hundred percent makes tile blocker clearing free? Unlocks the ability to clear most tile blockers. Ooh. That's nice. 
Imperial, Imperial prerogative. As our civilization continues to grow, so its beating heart must also expand. More systems will be placed under our direct control. Core systems plus five. Huh. Let me think about this for a second. You know what I'm going to go with here? I'm going to go with technological ascendancy. Technological superiority is going to be absolutely imperative. Alright, there we go. Upgrade the spaceport. Uh, what else can we build on the spaceport? Destroyer assembly yards? Sure, do it. And these these guys keep getting in and out of defensive packs. All right, let me, actually, let me pause the game back up again and let me look at the ship designer because we now have. I think this is probably wrong. Can't remove last design. All right, well we'll make a new design for a cruiser. Are there no cruisers in the ship pack? So there are cruisers in the mod, but it says that they're their own ship classes. So I guess I haven't unlocked them yet, even though I can build cruisers, which is weird. Alright, well, let's just make a cruiser design and then we'll maybe swap these out at some point. Um, for cruisers... Because we don't even have, like, medium weapons yet. Broadside core, artillery core. Yep, we'll just go with this for now. And we'll see how that goes. How much do they cost to build? 531. Former cult flagship is currently under repairs. Special project complete. All right, archaeological project completed. We have discovered the remains of several research logs in the debris field above Jagan 1. Their final entries are all focused on finding a cure for the Javorian pox that was sweeping across the Erasian Concordat, and they grow increasingly desperate as the situation worsened. The last entry, entry reveals that the pox had spread in an uncontrolled fashion on the space station itself, and attachment details all their failed attempts to produce a cure in the vain hope that the data would be useful to future generations of Erasian scientists. An interesting find. All right. Continue our surveying. And you build some mining stations there What's for the additional up? power. Ah, oh, we finished warp drive twos. We're going to continue to work on the... Actually, no, let's do this. Automatic exploration. Work on that. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Construction Anomaly. Complete. The atmospheric patterns of Church and Nine are highly atypical for a gas giant of modest size. Go ahead and research it. Construction complete. You build mining stations. 
Alright. Research complete. Merge those ships together. Oh, here's another gas giant that they thought was a gas giant that isn't a gas giant. <laughs> Remarkable. We finished nuclear missiles. Small concussion missile. Small concussion missile. Concussion missile research chain. Ion thrusters. This is the ion thrusters. It'll be done pretty quick. Uh, science ship. Alright, who do you want to go blow up first? Let's head over to these space amoebas. Let's kill them. Construction complete. Research complete. Ah, will we finish here? Ah, Psy Warriors. Very nice. Terraforming naval capacity, regenerative hull tissue, energy siphon, amoeba flagella. We'll go with genome mapping. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural from orbit. Massive rifts look almost like writing. Research it. And continue to work on surveys. Alien writing. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Manthral 1A. The massive script covers a large portion of the moon's upper atmosphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Fascinating. Situation log updated. System survey. Did we lose anything? We lost a Corvette. We lost one of those. Okay, so build one of those. And get a science ship. I might as well come over here and do this. Construction complete. And have you guys report back for repairs. System survey complete. System survey complete. Construction complete. Research just complete. Keep hitting up the surveys. And we finished ion thrusters. Guess we'll grab mass drivers. Construction complete. And we're going to build a couple of the new cruiser designs we have. System survey complete. Uh, survey that system. Research complete. We finished the genome mapping. Alright, let's see if we can unlock one of the strategic resources. Construction complete. Debris analyzed. Evading hostile fleet. And let's queue up Biolab, Engineering Facility, Physics Lab, Biolab, Engineering Facility. Clear the tile blockers. Anomaly 
anomaly found. Ah, there are signs of an activity by an ancient precursor of civilization in the vicinity of this gas giant. Research it. All right. You actually head back to the home world to continue to assist research. And you come back up here to survey that system. And somebody died. Ah, the governor of the homeworld died. So we need to recruit a new one. Perfect. We'll go with you. And actually, we are a bit long here, so we're going to end the episode. Got some stuff done. Still a bit strange with the whole cruiser thing. Hopefully that'll sort itself out eventually. And then, uh... We'll see what we can do next. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.